This is Memorial Stadium, located in gorgeous Lawrence, Kansas. Hi, Brad Nussler in the booth, along with former quarterback Curry, and we'll have reports from Aaron Andrews. College football on ESPN is brought to you by Lowe's. Let's build something together. Tonight's games between the Cincinnati Bearcats and the Kansas Jayhawks. It's just about the midway point of the college football season, and these guys from the Big 12 are raring to go. For Cincinnati, an explosive running back could make life really difficult. He could post some very big numbers facing a defense whose linebackers are pretty shaky. Time has come to take you down to the field for the coin toss. Brought to you by Lowe's. Let's build something together. Hollis has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Taken down by the kicker. Kickoff returns 29 yards. They'll set up shop at the 31-yard line. First and 10. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Woods brings him down at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and 10. for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 46. Throws complete and he's hammered. Weaver picks up six yards with that grab. Looking to throw. Got his back, but he can't hang on. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Justice is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line, first and 10. Gets it and immediately hammered. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That makes it second and 10. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Hill, again, gets out to around the 28. Hill gains around eight yards on the run. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackled after a decent pickup. Very effective play calling in a third down situation. It's plays like that you need to win ball games. Convert on third down. Any 
he carries the ball for a nice game. Hill gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second, and six. second down and six. Ball on the 39. And they get nice yardage on that run. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. Third down again. Here's the halfback. Tackle made at the 45. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. From the 45-yard line, first down. And down he goes at the 44. Hill gets about a yard on the play. From the 44-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. King comes away with five yards on the carry. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Here's the back. Nowhere to go. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. So they're going to go for it here. This is a pretty controversial call. I really would have expected them to punt this ball. Gets it. He's in space. He's brought down in the open field. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. From the 21 yard line, first down. Again, he'll get the call. Makes it to the 11. First down from the 11-yard line. Hill on the inside handoff. Touchdown, Jayhawks. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. So a 12-play, 79-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. So the score now, six. Nothing. He just drills this one. Makes it to the 22-yard line. They'll take over at the 22. First down, 10 to go. Brown on the right side. He makes it to the 25-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Concentration. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the officials' judgments can have a big impact on a game. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Kansas, six. Cincinnati, nothing. Cincinnati, nothing. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Sacked on play action. So the sack makes this a second and long. Right. 
Harper running the option. Offense falls on it. The defense was that close to coming up with a big play. Yeah, they tried to get a little bit too fancy there on that option play. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. And they got it. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Hill is back deep to return. Booming kick. He makes it to the 48-yard line. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. So they'll start this drive at midfield. Hand off to the back. Look out! And they make the stop at the 32. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 31. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That brings up second and nine. From the 31 yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 12. From the 12 yard line, it's first down. And down he goes at the nine yard line. Hill gets three yards on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Second down, here we go from the nine. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. King gains about five yards on the run. Third down. So they line up on the three-yard line going in. Touchdown, Kansas! He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great-looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10-yard line, this halfback is automatic. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. He's got the two. A six-play, 51-yard drive. And they come away with a two-point conversion. So the score now, 14, nothing. Hollis looks ready to kick this one off. kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback they'll start this drive at the 20 It's the tailback. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Olsen comes away with about two yards and a little draw play. Cincinnati will take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Oh. 
gets to about the 24-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. He's changing things up. deep down the left sideline complete and he's brought down at the 23 it takes an incredible amount of accuracy to throw the ball that high and that far just a beautiful pass Harper calls an audible here's a screen to the wideout and he's taken down at the 15-yard line. Cincinnati will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 15-yard line, second down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Trying to change the play. That makes it first and goal. Tipped away. It's second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Pitch play. Looking for the corner. He's tackled at the one. The halfback lucky to get anything on that toss play. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. End zone, touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 81-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 14-7. Hill fields it at the three. Tackle made at the 28. They'll set up shot at the 28-yard line. Play action. The 10. He scores. What a play. Those few seconds he spent thinking it was a run allowed his man to get separation, and that was it. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. He's in for the conversion. Thomas gets set to kick this one away. Hanson fields it at the 17. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. They'll start at the 40-yard line. Good tackle there in space. Harper calls an audible. That makes it first and ten. He passes it. Looks like offsides. Here's the official call. Offsides. Over defense. That's just a discipline thing there. It's five free yards, and that could hurt. Good situation for the offense here now as they have first and five. Looks to his receiver, first down. Good open field tackle. That makes it first and 10. 
And he just gets rid of it. Offside. On the defense. And he helped the offense with that penalty. And you have to be careful here because the offense will get a free play, which could become even more costly than the five-yard penalty. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressively. So our score, Kansas 22, Cincinnati 10. Hill from the one. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. We played a half of football here, and our score is Kansas 22, Cincinnati 10. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. All right, we go down to Aaron Andrews for a quick update. Obviously, the fact that neither team turned the ball over made the coaches happy. And for Cincinnati, it's been a great performance by the pass defense. They want to keep that going here in the second half. Brad? Hill gains about a yard on the play. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Deep pass down the right side. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Tackle made at the 49. And for it's the century mark with that run. I'm so impressed with the way he runs, and I've got to say, he might be my favorite at this point for the Heisman Trophy. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, first down. Wide open is his tight end. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him on a first and goal. Why can't they stop that play, Kirk? I don't know. It's not like they haven't seen it before. They've run that play twice in a row, and that time it worked to perfection. Kansas, look to make this a three score game. Down at the nine. 
And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They bring him down. They couldn't get him blocked up that time. We'll probably be hearing his name for some time to come because he's only in his first year on the field. And he rifles it in there for the touchdown. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad, he's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. And they're looking to get two points here. They got it. A 10-play, 77-yard drive. And they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. So the score now, 30-10. Hollis has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's hammered down. This drive will start at the 19. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. It's second and 12. Ball on the 17-yard line. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Hanson picks up about five yards on that hookup. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's taken down at the 36. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Harper doesn't like what he sees. Caught in a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. They fake the hand. Coverage and making a good catch on the play. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. Sean makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and 10. With the pass incomplete. That's a real danger. Pass is short like that. Sooner or later, they're going to end up in the wrong set of hands. Harper on the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. They got some pressure on him that time. Yeah, and what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. So it's fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Hill gains around six yards on the run. Second and four. Ball on their own 26. And 
he's tackled at the 34. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. Tackled after a decent pickup. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Kansas 30, Cincinnati 10. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Back to the tailback, and he's hit immediately for a loss. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Hill gets the call again. He's tackled right around the 50. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running back. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Hill comes away with five yards on the carry. From the 45-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. King gains about two yards on the run. Third and three, and this is the eighth play of the drive. They work the tailback, and he's short. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there, and the defense this time wins the battle. Hill gets it on the inside. To the 10. Touchdown. And for Hill, once again, he carries the ball for six. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. Well, the offense is going to go for two. And at this point, I'm pretty sure that they just want to win this game by more than 100. He's got the two. A nice nine play, 80-yard drive. And they come away with a two-point conversion. So the score now, 38-10. Kansas to kick. He's to the 10. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. Holding on the receiving team. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. They'll set up shop at the 13. First and 10. And that one's incomplete. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. Second and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. Brought down at the 33-yard line. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. 
He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. Throws and it's incomplete. Boy, that was a rocket. If the receiver didn't come down with it, quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Got it to his man, the screen. And they make the stop right around the now, the passing game is a lot easier for a quarterback when two corners aren't in coverage. I respect a gutsy call on the defensive side to blitz both corners, but it From the 47-yard line, second down. Passes left, going the other way. Interception by the quarterback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. Look at throw on first down. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Nice interception. Too bad they weren't playing like this to start the day. Yeah, their defense took a little too long to get into this football game. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Harper, options right. He gets hit out of and using the side as another defender. From the 34-yard line, second down. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Olsen gains four yards on that reception. Deep ball, laying it out there. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Harper drops back. And he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. Well, you have to admire the defense for showing some pride here. The game's obviously out of hand, but they haven't given up. Nice stop. They'll get the ball here at the 40-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 37. Not the greatest pass, but a really, really good play by the receiver to bail out his quarterback. From the 37-yard line, first down. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. Marshall was the intended receiver on the play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. They'll bring him down at the 18. And for Ross, he makes it 100 yards worth of catches. If you can get open and hold on to the passes, chances are you're going to have a good game. And that's exactly what this guy's been able to do today.
Throws to the end zone, incomplete. Probably not the best time to put too much on that pass. They missed a big opportunity right there. He throws. That close to being intercepted. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 18. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Henderson was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's looking. knowing that they kept the offense off the board. Although in this case, the offense kept itself off the board by electing to go for it. So now that we have a first down going the other way, let's see if this offense can take advantage. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Olsen gains only two yards there on the delay. From their own 15-yard line, third down. They work the tailback, and he's short. The defense was all over that draw play. They got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. Fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. And this one is a beauty. And down he goes at the 47. And for Hill, he's made an impression on this defense tonight. Yeah, and I think you also have to give some credit to the big guys up front. They're really winning the battle at the line of scrimmage. It's allowing him to have more room to work with to be able to get upfield. And really all this kid needs is just a little bit of daylight, and he's a threat to take it to the house every touch. He's helped to put his team in a winning position, so let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. At the 48, Hill gets about a yard on the play. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Kansas 38, Cincinnati 10. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? We got exactly what we expected to get in this one. Cincinnati came out as severe underdogs, and they were absolutely demolished by a much stronger, faster, and experienced football team. And for Hill, he wins player of the game honors. For the Jayhawks, they approve their record to six and one with today's win. And for Cincinnati, they fall to one and six on the year. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 12. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. For Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews, we'll see you next time.